Hey guys, welcome to the Hype Productions. And in this video, we are going to create a new line effect on 3D Studio Max. Let me show you some uh, references. So let's see about some new line effect. Uh, uh, as you can find out, there are new line effects, but unfortunately it is already created on the Adobe Photoshop uh, or maybe some other softwares like Adobe uh, After Effects and some more like new. So uh, the matter of fact is that uh, what if we do this in 3D Studio Max or maybe it is, is it possible to do this? So let's try this. I'm going to go to the 3D Studio Max and this time I have a 3D Studio Max view. I'm going to go to the shape and I will draw my rectangle. Something like this. But uh, after drawing this, uh, you will have to convert them into a rebel spline. A spline because uh, a spline has some values like vertices, segments and a spline. Vertex is kind of a single your corner segments the line between the two vertex or maybe the two corners but this line is the entire body that you want to move the entire object so now i have converted this i'm going to take the vertex and uh, after vertex i just uh, go to the refine refine actually add the vertex here so i'm gonna click some vertex especially here and after that just take this segments and delete these extra segments it's just a mandatory it doesn't matter that if you want to do this or not so I'm just gonna give this kind of a pop-up shape something like this right click convert them sorry make them to corners now select all of them every vertex and go to the fillet Fillet is actually help you to make them smooth, something like this. After that, the top setting, which is called rendering. When you go to the rendering settings, so just apply the enabling render and check the enabling viewports. Make them thick more, something like this. Okay, so we need to glow like this that uh, it has some kind of a uh, uh, effect which is uh, the line and the line is glowing with some color effect so what you will have to do you will have to go to the v-ray lighting and then just select this v-ray light after selecting the v-ray light just go to the type and add mesh light when you will click this mesh light so now this light is added actually before that, I just need to open my rendering setups and I will enable my V-Ray expert mode. Because the V-Ray expert mode easily can be preferred. Uh, just uh, select this primary engine to irradius map and uh, go to the irradius map option, make them low level. From the V-Ray side, you will have to change this tab from progressive to bucket and I think this is too much uh, select your frame size is up to you that I'm just gonna take 120 and 720 it's up to you that you want to take the HD size or you want to take the 4k size this is totally on your choice so I'm gonna last time I'm going to play with this so just select it convert them into editable poly and after converting to the poly, just select your light. All right. Pick mesh and select your mesh. When you will do this, so your mesh actually becomes the light. Let me show you as a pre-render. So now your light is this one. All right. So I'm going to add some text here as well. which is called has to be hello and I will select the text here just scale it down the size of your of the text 
the text is hello okay i'm going to select this one and turn off the rendering for the timing not for always just for the timing of turning off the rendering or i'm going to select this aerial bold text sorry aerial board and convert them into a spline so select your entire vertexes make them smooth like make them fillet okay so the randomly i'm going to take my vertex and select my refine tool and i will add them randomly okay so random values and now just select your segments delete these extra after doing this just you need to enable rendering enable viewport once again so you can see that your objects is available here so now it is looking like a hello and i'm going to select them convert them into editable poly after that the same the same process that you will have to select your white go to the mesh and click the mesh here and after that come to the mesh light pick your mesh and pick hello so if i will see this thing in render so now my both hello and my border light it but it is just lighted it is not glowing so what's the procedure that uh, uh, has to be glow it has to be glow so we need a surface because reflection glowing shadows always need a one surface so i'm gonna apply a camera first on it so i can see my view i'm gonna apply target camera here and uh, just active the camera from this part so and now i'm going to apply my surface which is, has to be plain and uh, All right, I'm gonna go to the V-Ray material editor and apply my texture, which is I've already downloaded from the Google, which is this one, the bricks. Now I will apply this and uh, so this time just apply this and show them. Go to the UVW map because the texture is stretching. So we need to set this texture, something like this. Okay, I think we should make them more customized. So now if I will take the render, so you can see this kind of light of glowing. But it is too much high in the value. So I'm gonna select this part, decrease the value to 5% and give them a color. So now you can easily see the blue lighting effect. One more thing, I'm going to select this hello. Also change the color of this. I'm going to take this and decrease the parameter as to be 5%. Now if I see this. So it's actually um, glowing. Somehow it is uh, actually glowing. We need to decrease some more values. 3% or 
3% as well. So all right guys that you have seen this uh, beautiful new light effect throughout the mesh light furthermore in addition you can add some kind of uh, this part it is called the lens effect when you will go to the here and just activate this bloom effect so you can find this beautiful glowing light it's up to you that how much size you want to have it or uh, how much shape you want to have this so it's uh, it's up to you there is nothing wrong with it and just increase the weight so you will find out some more glowing effect so it's now up to you that how much you want to use this so now it's getting a glow something like this furthermore just uh, take the clear effect open the clear effect so more that you can find out this kind of a glowing edges so i hope you like this tutorial and if you like this tutorial so kindly